Hey friends, so it's another Jeep video. So I was using a Wi-Fi OBD2 scanner. Um, it's an ELM 327. Um, let me show you this piece of crap. So it's this right here. And I was using it with OBD Fusion. And quite honestly, it didn't, it just doesn't give me any good details. And I need to know what's going on with this Jeep. So I'm gonna show you what it doesn't do. So we're just going to turn that to on. We're going to go into diagnostics. Oh, we got to go connect. All right. So then, yeah, try again. I mean, for one thing, it's slower than the second coming of Christ. There we go. Uh, dismiss, back, connect. So we'll let that sit twiddle for a minute. Okay, so I forgot I had to connect to the Wi-Fi network. All right, so now that we're connected, we can go into diagnostics and see what trouble codes we've got. So nothing. All right. So there you have it. So next what we're going to do is we're going to try this Zurich ZR13, which is supposed to do a whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to see if it does. And unfortunately, they put it in a box that you can't easily open. So sorry better not require a battery. So, we're fixing to find out. Oh, it does require batteries, and they make it a fucking Phillips screwdriver so you can't get it open. So let me go deal with that. Okay, so after I put the batteries in, I was able to get it to come on. Um, so we're gonna connect the OBD2 reader and just see what happens. Because clearly, that one doesn't see anything. And I don't believe that that's really the case in this vehicle because it won't start. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and just bring this up here where we can see it. And looky there, we have a whole bunch of codes. Okay, so it doesn't do service check. So we'll go back to menu. Oh, that's just absolutely asinine that it steps across all the years. That's absolutely stupid. Let's go back to that. So it's supposed to have the ability to see everything else. Thank <laughs> you. 
So it's supposed to see the restraint system, but oh, it wants to charge me to test these. You know, I already paid money for this thing. Why do I have to pay again? That's obnoxious. There we go. So now we can get into the safety restraint system. And we got two blown airbags, so I expect to see some codes. Squib shirt get shorted. Passenger circuit shorted. Yeah, so, you know, as I would expect, I've got two bad airbags. Uh, I don't think that should stop me from starting, though. system status. Okay. Battery temperature sensor low. Who cares? Auto shut down. So we knew this was going on. Main control sent circuit, 688. Fuel pump circuit opens, gets auto shut down. So 685, See if we can reset these. I don't think these can reset. Yeah, I see some other codes flashing, but I can't tell what they are. This vehicle doesn't have ABS, so I don't expect to see any ABS codes. But I'm going to hit it. Nope, nothing there. Now we're going to see if the SRS codes actually reset or if they stuck. I think they stuck. Yeah. So, but it's only showing the driver. Oh yeah, it's only showing the airbags is blown.
see if it'll run. Pull the codes again and see what popped back up. I think we're still in auto shutdown mode because of the ABS or the SRS. No, just battery temperature sensor circuit low. Okay. So, code five and six. I, this stuff is flashing and it's hard to read. So let's see if we've got any other codes hiding. Oh, I didn't think I had skim. Fuck off, skim. So, yeah, skim shouldn't be here. We don't have ABS. So, no codes. So I refired it. So I've got no fuel pressure, but that's okay. I'm in shutdown mode right now. Oh, I'm not all the way on. There we go. So I want to see if the...
All right, so I gotta go do some research and figure out what these codes mean, but I'm at least a little closer to understanding why my Jeep won't start. And I'd feel a lot better if it started. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this humorous. Subscribe and remember to watch my um, playlists for videos that are related.